Hi everyone, uh, it's Rich from Backup here again. Uh, just wanted to use this next little video just to cover uh, curbs, or at least the first half. I'm going to split this into into two smaller videos. So in the first one, we'll concentrate on getting up the curb and the processes around that. So the main things to remember when going up curbs are making sure that we're getting our little flick at the right time. So we don't want to be flicking too far away from the obstacle that we're looking to try and get up and onto the top of or up and over. We want to be doing it just at the right time. If you remember back to the flicks video, we talked about rolling up with our wheelchair to find out where our caster wheels are and when we need to start the flick for that. So we need to make sure that we're flicking at the right time. We need to make sure that we've also got enough momentum to, to get up and over this curb. Uh, and then we need to make sure that our hands are in the right position for doing the flick once we approach. We need to make sure that our body weight is in the right position both for performing the flick and then into the secondary drive phase when we're getting up and onto the top of the curb. So to break it down, we'll want to take a couple of pushes or one, maybe two pushes just to make sure that we've got a nice constant speed when we're approaching the curb itself. When we get up to the edge of the curb here, we want to make sure that we're hitting it square on. So we don't want to be slightly at an angle or one of the big drive wheels will bounce up before the other. We want to be clearing with those front caster wheels and then bouncing both of our big drive wheels here at the back up at the same time. So hitting it yeah, perpendicular 90 degrees on here. We want to make sure that we've got enough speed. When we're doing the flick, we want to make sure that our body weight, our body position is leaning slightly further backwards and then a sharp push to get the flick as per the, the flick video that I did before. And then once our caster wheels are up and onto the top deck here, we want to be pushing our head and shoulders forward and continuing that drive to go up and onto the top of it. So here I've just got a, a little platform kind of set up just to practice with. This is maybe about third size, something like that. Um, once you get confident with the smaller curbs, you can step up to a slightly bigger one and then maybe try and tackle full size curbs from there. It's a really useful skill to have. As I say, sometimes a, a dropped curb isn't available out in the community, so you might want to, to have a crack at going up, up a curb independently. You can also do this assisted, uh, but first off we'll start with, with going up independently. So as I said, it's effectively a combination of everything that we've learned to this point, kind of squashed together and done, done at pace. So, starting from back here, what we want to do is get a push to get some momentum, and then from there, it's a little flick with our body weight backwards, just at the right time, and then moving our body weight forwards and continuing that push up. So one push to get momentum, reset the hands, lean back, flick, lean forward, and continue that push up and onto the top. Okay, so again, a push to get some speed, reset the hands, leaning back, flick, and push once our caster wheels have cleared up onto the top deck. If I don't push, if I don't flick high enough, my caster wheels are going to bash into the object. If I flick too high, it cuts out all the momentum. And I'm not able to get up. So you want to find that nice kind of happy medium uh, in terms of your flick height. Remembering back, if you need to, if you're not quite there with your timing of your flick, remember you can look over the side of your wheelchair to figure out when you need to start the flick or look down between your legs here. So again, just pushing forward to get that momentum, reset hands, lean back, flick, and up. And from 
this angle. So coming through, flexing it up, and pushing forwards, and going up from there. As I say, on a curb of this height, there's there's a possibility that you could flick up from here without any momentum and then drive through to push and finish but it's always better to have the momentum the more momentum you have for a task like this the easier it is and if you're trying this on full-size curves and need a little bit of assistance it's very important uh, that how you explain kind of the help that you need from your spotter or from family member friend whoever's with you um, and the processes behind this verbal independence is very very important so being clear with your instructions and kind of saying them with clarity so it'd just be the same as you did for the first half if you don't quite have the strength if you've got the flick at the right time and you can flick your front wheels up but you don't quite have the strength to push this extra little bit up the curb what you can do is is, is instruct your spotter to either grab onto the handles if you've got some behind your wheelchair if you've not got handles just grabbing onto the the top of the the, the, the the backrest here and what they need to do is push push you up the curb so if they if they pull pull up to lift you up the curb it takes your drive wheels off the ground so you can't get any purchase you can't aid them so what you need to do is just get somebody to push you. So push kind of into the curb and up ever so slightly rather than a lift. All right. So again, one final time, just practice going up. So as I said, pushing forwards to get that momentum, reset the hands, lean back, flick, lean forward and push to finish. All right. And in the next video, we'll cover going, going down the curb, just like that but in more detail uh, and also going off curbs in a back wheel balance. All right, thanks ever so much guys.